Hello there everybody and uh, tonight I'm going to give sort of a little tutorial about how to work with Vallejo acrylics. Um, Vallejo acrylics are a very good uh, acrylic line. They don't have any odors with them. Um, they come in these little eyedropper bottles uh, which are very nice because you can measure real precise amounts of paint and also you can't spill them like you can a normal uh, glass bottle but uh, they also have caused a lot of problems uh, with people as far as airbrushing them uh, this is mainly because they dry out real fast and what happens is in your airbrush uh, when they dry out they get uh, paint gets on this needle here and it wants to gum up your airbrush so um, I'm making this little helpful tutorial as to make uh, your life easier because these are really good paints and people don't need to be afraid of them and they don't want need to steer clear of them but uh, you do need to at least have a little bit of know-how about how to work with them and this has been done through my own personal experience and through research that I've done uh, through a lot of modeling forums and whatnot uh, as far as these the model air uh, is their airbrush line these are uh, already thinned out to go through the airbrush uh, they do require a little bit of extra thinning uh, unless your airbrush has a very wide nozzle uh, like a Pache single action um, you can if you listen you can hear them you can you can hear they're very uh, they're very uh, liquidy they're not a real heavy body type paint um, now as far as thinning you have a few options uh, these are ones that I've tried out and I know they work uh, the first option would be obviously Vallejo's own thinner um, it's just a little white uh, acrylic base thinner uh, and uh, this does really well uh, so if, if, if you can get this um, if you can't the next best option would be uh, windshield washer fluid uh, this is just in a Vallejo bottle, uh, an old bottle for convenience. Um, this is actually a very, a very cheap alternative because you can buy these. Uh, you can buy um, windshield washer fluid in a big gallon jug from any Walmart, hardware store, what, whatever. Um, this is actually a very good alternative. Um, another alternative would be Liquitex Flow Aid. Uh, this is to keep the paint, uh, this is to reduce the viscosity of the paint so it flows better through your airbrush uh, you can mix it with a drop of the slow dry and this will keep the paint from drying out in your airbrush um, when I say a drop I mean just just a drop uh, if you use too much it makes the paint real transparent um, so it's it, it's it's gonna take more than one coat uh, to lay it down especially if, if you're airbrushing a lighter color over maybe a darker color so so you need to use these this very sparingly um, as far as the ratio goes uh, I believe the the ratio that I've found that's worked the best has been about a five to two five to three somewhere in there you can probably go a little bit higher but that's normally what I use um, the one good thing about Vallejo paints is that a little paint goes a long way and uh, uh, I only use a few drops at a time in the paint cup but um, you can actually get a lot of airbrushing done with just a little bit of drops so it saves you money that way um, so for the next part um, I'm gonna fire up my airbrush and compressor here and uh, we'll uh, do some stencils and do some little lines and show you how how well this paint actually airbrushes okay um, I'm gonna fire up the compressor here and uh, I apologize in advance if this compressor is real loud. It's a little bit older model uh, Badger compressor. I still use it because uh, it still works and uh, it's been reliable. It hasn't given me any trouble. Um, I'm going to be spraying at about 30 psi. That's usually not the range I want to spray at for acrylics. Uh, the airbrush I'm using is a Iwata Neo uh, Gravity Feed. Um, this is about as cheap as you can get. I got it for about $35. Uh, with my Hobby Lobby coupon and that uh, has a 0.35 uh, 
millimeter nozzle. It does real good for uh, fine detail work. It'll draw uh, fine lines as fine as you can, as fine as you want. Um, you can actually take this little needle cap off and get even finer. Um, I don't normally use that because most most models you're not going to be drawing pencil lines on aircraft unless you have a real weird paint scheme. But uh, yeah, this does everything that. That I need to get done. I may buy another one in the future, but uh, for now, this is mainly what I use. So let's fire this up. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, this is Vallejo's Black Gray uh, RLM 66 color, and just going to add a couple drops here. Five drops, see in the paint cup there, and we'll add about three drops of thinner. One, two, three, three drops of thinner. I always like to do this. Uh, put my finger over the cap here. It, it helps to mix up the paint, and it also clears out the airbrush. It creates back pressure that sends the uh, helps just keep it clear. So. very smooth this is actually a very good paint because it lays down really level uh, you don't get a lot of the uh, grittiness that you may get with a Tamiya paint um, the gritty a gritty texture comes from the paint drying too fast when it hits the model surface but um, this is doing really well so far um, now with just these five little drops I can probably make about 10 of these little splotches here so that's um it's really good value for your money uh here's some fine here's some fine lines i'll take the end cap off and i'll show you how fine a line i was talking about yeah, that's a it's a very fine pencil line right there um you can do some do some little small dots if you were doing like modeling for a Luftwaffe plane. Do some small dots like that. Occasionally this will get uh, clogged up. Um, the easiest way to keep that from happening is to uh, simply take a Q-tip and uh, wet it with a little bit of cleaner, alcohol, lacquer thinner, that type of thing, and just just to help keep that needle clean, and it'll go back to behaving. But uh, that's basically all there is to it. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve that goes along with this, um, which is why I'm making this video so other people don't. Uh, have to make the same mistakes I did, but um, yeah, that's that's all you have to do is uh, just keep keep your uh, airbrush nozzle clean, and uh, it'll it'll spray and behave every time. Um, this paint goes down really level. Um, like I said, there's no odors with it. It has. I'm trying to place what type of smell it has. The closest uh, thing I can compare, can compare the smell to would be like a Sharpie pen, which doesn't smell bad. Um, but but uh, I'm spraying this paint and I can't smell the odor. So I'm going to do another little splotch here. A little squiggly splotch. So that's it for this um, for this little tutorial. Uh, like I said, all, all you got to remember is uh, keep your airbrush clean and use 
one of these products I described to uh, thin it out with uh, and uh, it'll it'll spray nicely every single time but uh, I'll be back sometime in the future with another review unboxing tutorial whatever uh, until then happy modeling and I will see you later